Hi, I'm Laura, a patient navigator, and I'm here today on behalf of your oncologist. During your consultation, your doctor had discussed giving a chemotherapy regimen called ACTHP. In this video, I want to explain this chemotherapy regimen. ACTHP is a chemotherapy regimen used to treat breast cancer. What is ACTHP regimen? The regimen is formed of three chemotherapy and two targeted therapy drugs. A is for adriamycin. C is for cyclophosphamide. T is for Taxol. H stands for Herceptin. P is Pertuzumab. How ACTHP works? Adriamycin is an anthracycline class of chemotherapy treatment, and it is also called doxorubicin. It damages DNA of cancer cells and prevents their growth. Cyclophosphamide is another type of chemotherapy medicine, called an alkylating agent, and sometimes called a cytoxin. It inhibits certain protein synthesis and prevents cancer cell growth. Paclitaxel, or Taxol, is a type of chemotherapy called Taxane. It damages the structure or the skeleton that supports cancer cells and prevents division and growth. Trastuzumab, known as Herceptin, and Pertuzumab, known as Pergetta, and both are targeted therapy. They attack HER2 positive cancer cells. This blocks their growth and alerts the immune system to kill them. Who gets ACTHP? It is a treatment regimen used in HER2 positive breast cancers. It is used in early stages of breast cancer that either travel to lymph nodes or is at a high risk for spread or recurrence. It is used either as a neoadjuvant treatment, which is given before surgery, or an adjuvant treatment, which is given after surgery. How is ACTHP given? First, AC formed of the two drugs, adriamycin and cyclophosphamide, are given together for four cycles. Each cycle is repeated every 14 or 21 days. Second, Taxol, Herceptin, and Pertuzumab are given together for another four cycles. During treatment with THP, Taxol will be given every week, while Herceptin and Pertuzumab are given only on the first day of every cycle. Each cycle is repeated every 21 days. After completion of eight cycles of treatment, Herceptin and Pertuzumab will continue to be given every 21 days to complete a year of treatment with these two drugs. Each of these drugs are given through the veins over an average of a one-hour infusion. The nurse may keep you longer to monitor for any signs of drug reactions. It is very important to drink plenty of fluids, up to two to three liters of water every day, especially while taking the AC part of the treatment. What are the side effects from ACTHP treatment? It is important to remember that different medicines have different side effects for different people. You may not have every side effect related to each medicine of the combination therapy. Less common but serious side effects include heart problems. Your doctor will obtain a baseline echocardiogram to monitor your cardiac function before starting the treatment and periodically as necessary. Arrhythmias. You may experience persistent palpitations or heart racing. Lung toxicity. Report to your doctor right away if you have shortness of breath, cough, or difficulty breathing, usually caused by Herceptin. Please call your doctor if you have a fever over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, fatigue, shortness of breath, heart racing or palpitation, discomfort lying on your back, swelling of the ankles, cough, or difficulty in breathing. The most common side effects of ACTHP may include low red cell counts or anemia. With anemia, you may experience a lot of fatigue, palpitations, increased heartbeat, and shortness of breath, low white blood cell counts. Your doctor will administer a G-CSF medication 24 hours after treatment to reduce the chance of infection. Nausea and vomiting. ACTHP regimen can cause two types of nausea or vomiting. Immediate nausea vomiting occurs within one to two hours of chemotherapy administration and can last for up to 24 hours. And delayed nausea or vomiting presents more than 24 hours after chemotherapy administration and can last for up to five days. For vomiting, your doctor may prescribe other oral nausea medications like ondansetron, procloparacine, or promethazine. Dehydration from diarrhea or vomiting. You may experience symptoms of low fluid volume, 
increase your fluid intake, and call your doctor so you can be evaluated right away. Neuropathy. You may experience tingling or numbness from neuropathy caused by paclitaxel. When it is severe, you may have trouble with your walking, buttoning your shirt, or handling a doorknob. Loss of appetite, hair loss, mouth sores, bladder irritation, bone pain, diarrhea, increased risk of sunburn, menopausal symptoms, or blisters on the palms and soles. Your doctor will check your blood before you start treatment. If your blood count is low, then your treatment may be delayed. Your doctor will also check your kidney and liver functions routinely before each cycle, as well as your heart functions before and every three months after initiating Herceptin treatment. Please call your doctor if you feel you are not well and if side effects do not improve after medications are prescribed by your doctor. Please tell your doctor about any medicines you are taking, including vitamins, herbal supplements, and over-the-counter medicines to make sure they will not interfere with your treatment. For managing a specific side effect, please watch our symptom-specific video. Call 911 immediately if you experience a medical emergency. If you have additional questions, contact your doctor's office, or you can always ask an oncologist in the OncoPower app. Thank you for watching. Feel free to replay this video as often as you would like to. Thank you and good luck.